Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week I've been playing with a brand new product which is Crushed Liquid Lip Colour. I have had so much fun with these guys today and I thought I've had a lot of questions on how they look on and I thought what better way to then literally go through every single shade with you so that you can see how they look and how they feel as well as we go through. You will notice that even the boldest colours in here are so, so moisturising. So it's the feel of a gorgeous lip balm paired with the look of a lip gloss, but it also has that high pigment of what you would get from a really strong lip colour. And I think it's safe to say I am very the same. You'll know if you follow me on Instagram that I don't wear loads of strong colour unless I want to create that instant statement lip. And that's because I like the pigment, but I don't always like the feel of anything too heavy or I'm a naturally a big talker so I often eat all my lipstick to be fair. That's the main reason. But you can even see here, although I've had 14 different shades on and off today, my lips still feel really hydrated, they look really hydrated and I have to say that's very rare for me to put so many lip colours on and not feel like I'm scrubbing my lips down. So that's a plus. And these are exclusive to Selfridges, so in all Selfridges doors and online. So on the 31st of January it will be across all stores nationwide that you can get your hands on the gorgeous crushed liquid lips. If you are after um, top tips on application and technique, I am gonna link a video below because you guys can see that and how I shape the lip, but also how you prep the lip. I did already do a little bit of buffing grains and a little scrub last night to get my lip prep for this, and then I just went in with lip balm first. So get your pen and paper ready, get your voting ready, let me know your favourite colour below um, and I think without further ado, let's get started. First one up, I'm going to go in with Lychee Baby. This is one of my colours, so Lychee Baby, a great tone if you're after something that's just going to like brighten your complexion because where it's quite a fair colour. I could almost say a bit 60s vibes, there's two shades. Um, in the crushed liquid lip that give us these real 60s vibes and this is one of them. Next I'm going in with Hippie Shake. Now I know this is one of Amy Morrison's favourites so let's give this a go. Definitely nice and soft and pink. Again this is the second of the 60s shades I would say so if you're after that really gorgeous soft look and just paring down your lip colour this spring, this is the guy for you. So this is Hippie Shake. I don't think actually I've ever managed to get like a real balmy texture this colour. Okay, so that's Hippie Shake. Next, Juicy Date. Literally can't think of a colour more for date night, how fun. You will absolutely love this if you love tones like Italian Rose, Rose Petal, um, Pink Nude, Neutral Rose, any of those kind of shades. It's just a great, good pink brown. You know when you, you're always going into the store and you're like, can I have a good pinky brownie, not too red, not too brown, not too blue? Guys, this is it. So that's Juicy Date. Now this is, I have to say, one of my favorites. I've now managed to narrow it down to three. You can probably guess as I'm going through this peach and quiet. Look at that tone. And it's such a great, like, neon kind of shade. Like, really brightening, yet it doesn't look like you've got loads of lip colour on. Here we go, it's a peach and quiet. I think this for me is going to be my ultimate going from winter to spring. You know when you just slowly add in more colour to keep freshening it up and get ready? Now this is the one that is going to be in my makeup bag. Love that. Next I'm going in with Give A Fig. How fun are the names? So again that's slightly more deeper rose petal. How do we do that? Oh! Oh, she wanted to overline all right. Okay, maybe from these shades onwards we should now use a mirror. So if you're the kind of girl that absolutely loves our soft rose or roseberry or Carolina, this really reminds me of as well. I find that it's just that great one when you almost want to stick to like a berry, but you don't want to go as strong as what you wore in the autumn. This is a great one for it. So give a fig. Gorgeous, I should stop applying. Okay, next one. 
Oh, I've been calling it Smoothie Movie the whole time. It's Smoothie Move. Ooh. So here we are going a little more bluier in the lip. Now I meet a lot of women that are after a colour that wants to brighten up their skin, make their teeth look whiter, make their skin look brighter. Whenever you add blue into a lip colour, you will get that same finishes. Do you remember like the blue mascaras that we all used to have in like the 90s? Um, they were horrendous, but anyway, what they did do is they made the whites of the eyes look whiter. Same thing, when you pop more of a bluey or a mauvey tone in the lip colour, you will give the appearance of the whiteness in the teeth. So I'm going to go in with this. This is the kind of shade as well where application is really key. So as I'm coming into the deeper shades, for me, I mean, you guys know me, I love my nudes, I love my pink. So as I'm coming into these plummier tones, I need more precision. The applicator is brilliant for this. You don't need a lip liner or a lip brush. But the key thing is to make the lips look bigger and more plump, is to ensure you're taken from the outer corner. So I'm gonna go up on the outer corner. And I'm not gonna go down, because what I'm gonna do is that will give the appearance of the lips slightly lopsided. So I'm gonna mirror that application on the other side up and then as I come to the cupid's bow rather than defining it and creating that sharp V I'm going to softly skim it just for that more rounder appearance there and that will give me that real plumpness same on the bottom really focus on those outer corners and skim the center. Really good for instant teeth whitening. So that is Smoothie Move. Next, I'm going into slightly more of those Movia tones and going a little stronger. Now I'm showing you these two because they look quite similar in the packaging, but I'm gonna show you how different they are. So I'm gonna start with Inner Jam. Perfect, mother of the bride shade, isn't it? I might try and get this on my nan actually, maybe in our next video coming up at the series Glam Nan. Might try and get her in this because this will be really, really fun. But do you see how it's just that great lift in the skin? So I would say anyone that's kind of over 40s, 50s, and you just need something a little bit stronger in your skin tone and, and that more stronger pop of colour, then do opt for Inner Jam. Now the tone that is, oh, I should take off my lip colour, shouldn't I? Woohoo! Getting carried away. So the next tone that's a little bit similar, just got a bit more kick, this is Bittersweet. And I'll show you why. It's a lot brighter, more of like your raspberry tone. definitely giving me bittersweet vibes. So this is if you love like rose blossom, uh, desert rose, raspberry, anything that you love that great mauvey solid colour in, you will get it from bittersweet. But also maybe if you love your red and your real statement bold lip colours, but you're after that same statement look, just a little bit softer, this is your guys, this is bittersweet. I'm going in with a shade that I absolutely love and I just need a little teeny bit more tan to carry it off, but I'm obsessed with it. It's that classic 90s brown, obsessed. It's called Halt Cocoa. I've literally been taking a little bit like you would a balm. So a great tip is just pressing that in if you want like a stained version of that pigment. This is how I've been wearing it. So to all my 90s girls out there, this is for you. See, this is how Zara Finley would wear it. Rocking it in her honey skin tone. I have to say, I will be taking this on holiday, I know it, because it's just one of those shades that when I get a little bit warmer and more golden in my skin, I'm gonna be obsessed. But until now, I'll just keep blotting it in and we'll be fine. So, ho ho ho. You are a winner. I'm gonna go in with Mango Mood. Let's see, oh, hello. Yeah, this is definitely a holiday color. Really bright, 
Again, slightly more of a corally tone in this. So if you are someone that loves your peaches and your corals and you just want to try something a little bit brighter. It's also so funny how I'm going so much bolder in colour, which normally in most lip colours, the bolder you go, the like more moisture you lose. And I'm not at all. Mango mood. Okay, so next up is one for all you die-hard pink fans. This is Main Squeeze, here we go. This reminds me of electric pink art stick with just loads of lip balm on top. Main Squeeze is definitely one of my main squeezes. Feeling that. From there, I'm gonna be going in with Cherry Crush. Ultimate girl crush, look. Every girl needs a good bright bold. We actually used to do a color called Papaya. If anyone remembers it, comment below, do let me know. It's very similar. It's got that real kick to it, you know? Again, great for making the teeth look white, I have to say. So that's Cherry Crush. The brighter we're getting, the harder this stain is to remove. So I know how long wearing these are. They don't budge. And I just did a bur blurred lip by total accident. Okay, Big Apple, ultimate red. Really nice red, actually. See, I find red is normally one of those shades that you need a lip liner with and it's really hard to find a pigment that you don't need a lip liner with and this is one of them, look. Also if you love wearing red but you just don't want your lips to dry out throughout the day, this is the red for you, so this is Big Apple. Then finally we have Cool Beats. How cool is this? So, if you haven't wanted to put down your dark berry tones from Christmas and New Year, you don't have to. We're gonna carry on just in a moisturizing form. Have a little look at this. Now I am gonna need a mirror for this. See, this for me is if you're still rocking that gray winter knitted jumper, this is the color you need to pair with it. Really, really nice, so cool beats ultimate bold deep statement lip and even if you want to pair that with smoky eye as well for an evening look stunning so there we have it guys i'm back in my favorite which is hippie shake i did love this shade so much but i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you found some favorites in there with those beautiful rich pigments and again remembering all of that nourishment what more could you want remember also this is exclusive to selfridges right now but out nationwide on the 31st of January. Are we in January? I almost didn't think I was in January then. It feels like the 75th of January. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Do let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to see you in your favourite shades when you do manage to get hold of them and I will continue to share a few more over on my Instagram as well. So remember, subscribe, give us the thumbs up and share and I'll see you soon. Bye!